Hey guys, it's Carrie. I'm looking at Indian animals today. Asiatic lion. Lions have a white line right underneath their eyes, which assists them with night vision. There is a reflective coating behind the eye, which helps to amplify the light emitted by stars and the moon. With this help, a lion's eyesight is eight times better than that of humans at night. They also have a white patch of fur below their eyes, which helps to reflect even more light back into the eye. Bengal tiger. Tigers have forward facing eyes rather than one on each side of their head. This provides binocular vision because each eye's field of vision overlaps, creating a three-dimensional image. The tapetum lucidum causes their eyes to glow at night when a light is shone on them. Tigers have round pupils, unlike domestic cats which have slitted pupils. Tigers' night vision is about six times better than humans. Most tigers have yellow eyes, but white tigers usually have blue eyes due to the gene for blue eyes being linked to the gene for white fur. Tigers have distinctive white circular spots on the back of their ears. They are sometimes referred to as false eyes, making the tiger seem bigger and watchful to a potential predator attacking from the rear. Indian elephant. They are massive in size and herbivorous and spend around 19 hours a day eating food, drinking lots of water. They always prefer staying near sources of water. In a forest, they usually live around tall grasses with other animals. You might find deer, zebra, and other animals that can comfortably exist with large elephants. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Red Panda, they are usually found in high altitude mountainous forests. They have sharp claws, which helps them get a good grip on bamboo, tree branches, and other surfaces. The wrist bones are slightly extended, which gives an image of a false thumb. They have strong molars, which help them bite down on bamboo shoots and leaves efficiently. They use the underside of their tongues for testing odors. Their tongues have a conical structure that collects the liquid to be smelled and brings it within a gland inside their mouth to smell it. Gariel. This one's by Schleich from the year 1999. The Gariel is one of the largest reptiles amongst all crocodilians. Indian Gariels live in clear, deep and fast-flowing freshwater river systems with steep and sandy banks. They prefer sandy banks for the purpose of breeding and basking. They are not terrestrial animals, so this is the only time that they leave the water. Snow Leopard they live alone at high altitudes. Their grey and white colour provides them with excellent camouflage in the snowy environment. Their preferred prey is blue sheep, ibex and deer. Their feet are covered with fur which helps them in walking easily on snowy ridges. Unlike other big cats, a snow leopard can't roar. Gower. A 
Gower herd is mainly confined to evergreen, semi-green and deciduous forests. They play a very important role in their habitat and help to control communities and ecosystems. Gowers are extremely agile and can turn quickly and jump fences. <laughs> Marco, they are wild goats and cannot be tamed. During the mating season, they will use their long horns to fight other males. They love to jump and climb around rocky mountains. Nilgai, it is indigenous to the Indian subcontinent and Hindus accord it the same sacred status as cattle. It is the largest Asian antelope. Black buck, they like to stay near areas where grass is available. On hot days, black bucks rest in the shade. <laughs> Himalayan tar, it has a daily vertical migration, moving upslope in the morning, resting there in the middle of the day and moving downslope for the night. Indian Rhino Both males and females spray urine to advertise reproductive receptivity. When sexually aroused, the female lifts and cocks her tail at an angle. The male sniffs the female's genital area to know if she's ready for mating. They will both playfully nudge heads and joust with their horns. The male mounts the female from behind and copulation can last for half an hour or more. The male's penis extends up to 75 centimeters and is shaped like a lightning bolt. To accommodate it, the reproductive tract of the female rhino is also quite long with many twists and angles of its own. The penis is curved backwards, allowing the characteristic rear-directed urination. Spraying bursts can reach up to three to four meters away, and males often follow a spray with vigorous horning of the urine-soaked soil and vegetation. Black Bear This is an American Black Bear. You can see the difference between this and the Asiatic Bears. Asian Black Bear This was made by Bullyland and released back in 2012. The Asiatic Black Bear is a species from the Ursidae family. They have a distinct crescent-shaped white mark on their chest. This mark can help anyone differentiate between the American black bear and the Asian black bears. They are omnivores and diurnal by nature, unless they're around humans when they become nocturnal. They are one of the biggest arboreal animals in the world and are excellent climbers. They have a strong upper body and sharp claws that help them climb trees. Asiatic black bears may reach a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour while running on all fours. They can stand upright and walk on their hind legs as well. Sloth bear, they look unkempt and dusty with a shaggy coat. They are found in the forests of South Asia, particularly India and Sri Lanka. These reclusive animals with long claws mostly feed on termites and ants 
and have the ability to climb trees. This amazing tiger is by Safari Limited. It is 12 inches or 30 centimeters in length. It was originally manufactured in 1993. That makes it 30 years old. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read all of your comments and will always answer them. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.